వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మెన్ వీడియో గైస్ ఇస్ సంపతి వాచింగ్ సంపత్ సామ్ ఫిక్స్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ అండ్ దిస్ అన్సంతర వర్షన్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ ఆన్ దిస్ పోకో ఎక్స్ త్రీ అది కెన్సర్ దిస్ పోకో ఎక్స్ త్రీ ద లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ సంతార ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ సుబ సురబాయ అఫీషియల్ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ అండ్ అట్ ట్వెల్ డేస్ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ షోన్ హౌ టు ఫ్లాష్ దిస్ రామ్ ఇట్స్ లెటిల్ బిట్ డిఫికల్ట్ యూ కెన్ చెక్అట్ ఇన్ ద కార్డ్ సెక్షన్ ఇయర్ హౌ టు ఫ్లాష్ and after that there's a review like 2 to almost 3 days i am been using there are some of the good things in this rom watch till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit on subscribe down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and the kernel used here is 4.14.256 selon the iris abc 54 1c kernel there's a thursday december 9 latest build and selling status is m4 sing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes as you can see it's good not great or anything like that but it's not even bad also it's good the performance is okay okay in this room it's not a gaming room but there are some of the interesting things and let's see the dialer what we get and you will get direct video call feature here and you won't get any call recording feature and google dialer has been pre-installed in this room and the geek pen scores let me show you i run two times the 500 type 540 type single score and 1600 multi score it need a little bit of improvement but overall performance is fine in this room you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and drm info you will get level one certification to watch the hd content is not a problem in this rom after flashing this nosantra 4.0.1 project on boko x3 nfc surya karna whatever you call and you will get google go camera as pre-installed camera all the features are working fine as you can see it is not a problem if you want you can use any gcam ports and some people ask me in the comment section below that allow all the download things in the description it's sometimes very difficult to add everything in the description so you can follow me in telegram or social media platform like instagram twitter wherever possible for you there i can give all the files official file links to that i hope you guys understand and coming to safety and status as you can see it's get passed here no need to worry all the payment applications and all working fine in this room that's not a problem and the good thing about this rom is like you will get some of the nusantara wings here as you can see game space is also given you can disable heads up disable auto brightness disable swipe to screenshot navigation bar even you can disable navigation bar and coming to themes there are some custom color options here you can choose between them and chroma factor and white luminance you can adjust here even linear lightness also you can change in the notification settings you get vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and disconnect these are given and coming to like miscellaneous you get swipe to screenshot screenshot shown on double tap to sleep let's see double tap to sleep okay accessibility double tap to sleep tap open settings then select launcher and turn use launcher this is how it need as you can see you need to turn on this then only the double tap to sleep is working fine double tap to wake is also there that's fine and three finger screenshot all the basic things are working fine in this room i have been testing it like last two days you can check out my video that flashing it after that i am using this and coming to like lock screen fingerprint preferences you get fingerprint success vibration and error vibration both are different if you disable one among them you will get idea and battery options you get battery style here plenty are given and clock options you get show clock date clock and date position am pm show seconds date all this basic things are given not a problem icon manager also given you can enable the nosantara logo here that's not a problem 4g icon ulti icon show call strength icon all are given here in the quick settings settings you get plenty of options you can see here qs footer text 
running service icon edit icon show brightness slider show brightness slider and quick qs panel adaptive brightness button show brightness slider on bottom those things are given even the traffic indicator is also given and the last things you get buttons volume rocker wave toggle torch when screen off and the navigation settings you get system navigation there is a gesture navigation also as you can see there is no option to increase the gesture bar and even there is no option to increase the radius of the gesture bar this all the things you will get enable haptic feedback on tick on back gesture those things are given and let's talk about like in the settings if i go into display and dark theme this is the dark theme i definitely don't like this kind of dark themes they're very like something brownish pinkish type i don't like this kind of dark theme they need to provide pitch black condition at least they need to give options to choose among them but this is how dark theme is really hate these kind of dark themes and in the security settings you only get fingerprint unlock i hope i have registered it okay Okay, I haven't registered I guess. Okay, it's registered. Okay, it's quick enough, not fastest, but still it's go okay okay type and will we show you something which is interesting in this ROM is like battery life. Where is battery settings? You simply don't see any battery settings in the settings panel as you can see there it is and here is the battery usage it's fine as you can see I have charged with using 33 watt charger also and even 10 watt charger also let me show you some thing like this if we connect to the charger you'll get this kind of Android 12 based effect that's not a problem the battery life and charging speeds are in the recent times whatever i flashed the roms and this is the best in terms of charging speeds and even the battery life that's the one thing i want to mention i have noticed it i have charged the smartphone two times also with 33 watt charger also it's fast and with 10 watt charger also fast based upon the wattage it's quick enough compared to any other roms i don't know what they did with this rom it's fast enough and battery life also as i said it's good let's see the bgmi gameplay here and what has happened like i have recorded using this screen recorder as you can see and the gameplay was not just recorded and that's the one thing i have noticed nowhere it's saved in the sd card or internal storage that is the one bug i have noticed let's see the gameplay
that's all guys in this video this is an Asuntara project 4.0.1 on this Poco X3 I hope you like this video and if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit the subscribe button and also allow the bell notification thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now